actions have changed the world. Hello, hello, and welcome back to the world of assassination and the trending contracts. And today's contract, the Cassidy Raid, set in Whittleton Creek. And the contract ID is on the screen now for anyone who wishes to have a crack at it and has been supplied to us today, courtesy of Straight Jumbo One. So, on to our briefing. Blah, 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 blah. So, moving on to our targets, and today we have five of them. One must be eliminated with a pistol, but we can wear any disguise we wish, and we have free reign over everyone else. So, for today's challenge, we'll be starting at the default location, and we'll be bringing with us our ever trusty lockpick a sniping rifle in a briefcase, and our silence pistol. So right from the start and off the bat, we are going to go and trigger a conversation before we do anything else. And this is going to be effectively our final target, but we need to trigger the conversation between our target, the guard, and the gardener. So that's them chatting away now, and when they finish, the gardener will wander off somewhere. So now that that's done, we can now make our way around to the front of uh, Mr. Batty's property, and out the front here we will find the exterminator. So we're going to very quickly render him unconscious before any of the young ladies jogging down the street turn up. We're going to take his outfit and the keys that he drops, retrieve our sniping rifle. Now at this point, we can just go straight to the construction zone off to our right in the wilderness and retrieve the insecticide there. As you see, uh, I went and unlocked Cassidy's door first. It doesn't matter which way round you do these two things, uh, I actually forgot the insecticide first of all and went straight for the Cassidy uh, garden door. Either way, we are now at the green shipping container in the wilderness area and in here is the insecticide. And now that we have that and Cassidy's door open, we just need to make our way back there. There's the young lady jogging up the street that I mentioned. So once we're into Cassidy's property, you can see there is one of our targets just over at the far end of the garden. We're going to take out the camera with our silenced pistol, and we may as well deal with this guy while he's here and alone and vulnerable. So we're just going to quickly deal with him, there we go, and hide his body in the bushes provided here. Now, having this guy already gives us an advantage because we now have access to his outfit and we can now make our way into Cassidy's property. And there is another target of ours who's just moved away from this desk so we can make our way over and disable the surveillance system. Now, you need to do this, otherwise the cameras spot the bodies and you lose your silent assassin rating. So once we've done that, we can hop back outside. We're going to add the insecticide to the fumigation machine. And then we're going to put back on the exterminator's outfit. Just drop the uh, assault rifle there. We don't need that. Uh, make sure we do have our sniping rifle. So all we've got to do now is wait for our guest of honor, who will be uh, Nolan Cassidy. He's currently out on the street with his bodyguard. There he is. And we need him in his house, along with his bodyguard, preferably. So they're going to come in via the garage. And the garage is not affected by the fumigation machine. So we need to make sure they are both well inside of the kitchen, which they are now both doing, before we turn on the fumigation machine and render everybody in the house unconscious. 
we now have a few minutes with which to work unmolested so Nolan Cassidy first of all I think so bullet in the head for everybody one of them is required as a pistol kill uh, I can't remember who it is I think it's actually the guy around in the living room so we're going to remove all of the bodies that we have dealt with we'll just close them garage doors and we'll get them into the chest freezer down in the garage here so we have three targets down with two more to go and I believe it is Mr. Green that is the pistol elimination and when I say pistol elimination not two in the back which is a actual method of execution but we do have to use a pistol where's my brain face? there you are lying in a puddle of blood we're going to retrieve our sniping rifle and on our way upstairs we will take care of Mr. Green here there he is so he is the pistol kill so selecting our silenced pistol one in the back of the head there we go and again we're going to hide his body because eventually the gas will run out and possibly someone will come in to investigate the area we don't know and all they will find are legally unconscious bodies so we're going to hide Mr. Green in the armory room in the closet and from here if we look out the window we can see a lawnmower at the edge of the wilderness so we're just going to shoot that just below the seat there and that will cause the petrol tank to leak and when our target comes over to stand in position we can then blow him up for an accident explosion kill so we're just going to drop the sniping rifle we don't need that anymore and we're going to make our way out of the building and to the nearest exit I don't know why I didn't just go out the front door so we're just going to run now straight down the uh, road here and hopefully the bus won't be too long and keep us waiting around so there we go one more trending contract taken care of uh, Nolan Cassidy and his goons do tend to turn up quite often I am going to have to find another way to deal with them all so we have confirmation all of our targets were eliminated according to plan and we get our silent assassin rating I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video